Hey, hi everybody. My name is Bill McPhee and welcome to Recovery Vlog with Bill McPhee. Um, you know what? Um, as you know, I'm all about recovery and our definition of recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And I'm uh, known as a mental health recovery expert. Uh, as uh, you know, or many of you know, I was hot spot six different times, lived in three different group homes and, and uh, had a suicide attempt. Uh, last week we talked, uh, introduced the spirituality and the goal of spirituality is to remember that there is a God and that God is for you and not against you. And that's where we get our hope from. That's where we get our foundation. And in the last uh, episode I uh, shared with you uh, about how uh, when, when God kind of did, did a neat thing in my life, I shared that story. And I'm going to share another story uh, with you as well as as, uh, as what he did, uh, kind of a very special thing as well. You know, when we are dealing with negative symptoms of schizophrenia, when we have that lack of motivation, that lack of drive, that emotional bluntness, that blandness, uh, the no motivation, that, that just the sick feeling every time, uh, I was going through that stage. I spent five years on the couch. And uh, I can remember... Um, I can remember just pacing my days consisted of uh, pacing the floors. I would maybe go to group therapy once a week, uh, but I was basically doing nothing, very, very uh, nothing, and, and it was a, literally a living hell. And uh, you know what? I can remember, I can remember um, being a Christian, and I accepted the Lord as my Savior. That's my higher power. Christ is my high, higher power. And uh, when I accepted Christ, you know, I was going to church, I was going to prayer meetings Wednesday nights and praying and everything, but things weren't happening in my life. Just nothing was happening, nothing different. And I used to say, what's the sense of being a Christian or believing in God or having a relationship with God when he can't help you in practical ways here and now on this earth? I'd say... What's the sense of being saved if you can't have a practical good life? And I can remember at the time I was, uh, I, I told my parents I would paint their inside of their house, the walls, the decoration in their house. So I would start painting. I was painting one day, and I can remember, I can remember uh, watching TV, and there was a program on there called The 700 Club. And I don't know if any of you remember it, but... I think the guy, uh, I forget who it was, um, 700 Club, uh, it doesn't come to me, but there was a guy, Matt Robinson, Matt Robinson was on, was on there. And uh, they would have be praying for these people, and people would be calling in and saying, oh, the Lord did this for me, and the Lord did that for me, and the Lord did this for me, and all that. And as I was hearing that, I was getting madder and madder by the second. Getting yeah, very angry because, you know, these people saying the Lord did this in their life, and, and I was very angry because my life was going nowhere. And finally, I looked up at the ceiling, and I lifted my hand, and I shook my hand, and I said, God, 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 I said, you know, look, you're doing all these things for these people. You're doing these things for these people. Do something for me. Do something for me. And I started to cry out like that and, and really show my anger. And you know what? After that, not right away, but after that, certain things started to fall into place with me. I can remember I was looking for work and I was sending resumes out and I would be getting calls for interviews. And then I, I finally got a job uh, in Woodstock. I moved to Woodstock and, and, and got a job. I didn't keep that. I relapsed when I was in Woodstock again, which is which is uh, another story. But anyways, the point was that I saw God working in my life that gave me some hope, and I started to praise Him when good things would happen. And then, you know, I just want to mention that if you're interested uh, in, in my stories and what I'm telling you, I've written a book called To Cry a Dry Tear, Bill McPhee's Journey of Hope and Recovery with Schizophrenia. And you can go to my website, which is uh, www.billmcphee.ca, and McPhee is M-A-C-P-H-E-E, so www.billmcphee.ca, and you can uh, see my bio and you can pick up my book there as 
well. Uh, so I just wanted to give you that, that, that little area of spirituality here in this, this segment because that's where we get our hope. You know, we've got to believe in a higher power that God's for us and not against us. We need to seek that truth, seek truth and, 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 and understanding, and we'll find it. And uh, next week, I'm going to just give you, we're just going to continue this part in spirituality. I'm going to tell you one more story. And then after that, we're going to move on to uh, the second pillar of recovery, which is relationships. So remember, my name is Bill McBain, and I'm your uh, mental health recovery expert. And recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else but who you are today. And remember, have a great day. Uh, have a great day. Uh, happy long weekend. It's uh, May 15th. This is a uh, long weekend here in Canada. So have a great uh, long weekend if you're celebrating anything. And uh, once again, remember, there is life after mental illness. Have a great day.